All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to graph a plane. Now, this is something that, I mean, I don't necessarily know that it was explained like, like this, like, okay, here is just how to graph a plane. It was something that we kind of just did, and I wasn't 100% sure how we were doing it, okay? We just kind of were shown a plane, and that's it. So I really wanted to hammer home on just actually how to graph a plane, because it, you know, it is actually pretty intuitive, like how you're supposed to do it, but uh, I just couldn't figure it out at first. So it was something that I struggled with for a while until I kind of just figured it out on my own. And uh, basically, here's how you do it. So if we were asked to graph 2x plus y plus 2z minus 3 equals 0. Well, first, let's add 3 on both sides just to kind of make this a little bit easier on ourselves. It saves us a step. We get 2x plus y plus 2z equals 3. Okay, now the first thing that we're going to want to do is let's find whatever this point is going to be. Okay, let's let's find a point on the x-axis. Okay, this plane is going to cross the x-axis at some point. All right, it'll cross the x-axis. And on the x-axis, we know that y and z equal 0. So let's plug in 0 for y and z. If we do that, we get 2x, we get plus 0 plus 2 times 0 equals 3. So we get that 2x equals 3, divide by 2, divide by 2, we get x is equal to 3 halves. Okay, so what that means is we have the point 3 halves, 0, 0. And that is on our plane. Okay? Next, what we, we, what if, what if we have our equation again? 2x plus y plus 2z equals 3. Okay? Let's find another point. Okay? Because we need, we need three points to construct a plane. Okay? On the y-axis, x and z are 0. Okay, so let's set x and z equal to 0, and you see that y will equal 3. And that gives you the point 0, 3, 0. All right, lastly, let's write our equation again. 2x plus y plus 2z equals 3. And we need to find the point on our z-axis. So on the z-axis, we know that x and y are equal to 0. So let's set x and y equal to 0, and we get that 2z equals 3, divide by 2, divide by 2, and we get that z equals 3 halves. So we can now form our third point, which is 0, 0, 3 halves. All right. Using these three points, now we can actually construct our plane. And, and trust me, you don't have to write all of this out every single time you do it, okay? As you start to kind of have to graph planes more and more, this becomes a lot quicker in your head and all that good stuff. So, you know, you probably won't have to do this every single time if you're uh, pretty good at just doing things mentally and um, even if you just get a hang of it real quick it becomes a lot quicker okay so now I'm gonna take all this away and what we're gonna do is graph our plane okay so we have our x-axis our y-axis and our z-axis okay we have the first we have the point three halves comma zero comma zero okay now Pay attention closely. I'm going to make every tick mark one half. Okay, I'm going to make every tick mark one half here just because we have two things that are over two. So one, two, three. That's going to be three halves. Okay, and we're going to put a point here. Now for the y axis, we know that x and z are zero. We get the point zero, three, zero. Okay, so that's going to be six ticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then on the z-axis, x and y are 0, we get the point 0, 0, 3 halves. So 1, 2, 3. And now we get our plane. Okay, we just got to connect these points here. And I mean, if you want, you can expand this to kind of show your plane. 
okay and of course the plane is infinite so you can kind of just I don't know you can see that it goes out in all directions here all right and that's kind of the plane that we're talking about here so you know for for later on in in calc 3 this is going to become important because you're going to have to see where certain things intersect other things and you need a good idea of what you're looking at so this is vital to learn now okay learn how to graph lines learn how to graph planes and then you are going to do a lot better later on in calc 3. okay that's definitely something that i wish i did starting out and didn't have to do kind of play a little bit of catch up later on in calc 3. so uh that's going to do it for this video so if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.